A new remedy for dog ear infections, coming up. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, click there to subscribe. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Ear infections in our dogs, are there any alternate options? You bet there are. I'll link to a couple of different videos I've done in the past, but this is a brand new remedy. So what we're dealing with is most of our dogs with recurring ear infections, they have a primary underlying allergy. More often than not, they then have a secondary yeast infection. So typically what you're going to see is your dog is shaking his head. He's scratching at his ear. There's going to be a pretty foul smell coming from this ear. Tool is smells a little, maybe a little bit yeasty. And often when then there's a yeast infection, you see this kind of black waxy debris. Um, and there's some of what you would see now. Hmm, Tula. So our new remedy consists of three things. First, the basis, it's one half a cup of this. This is nettle leaf, it's actually nettle leaf tea. I have some of it right there, which I happen to be consuming. Mm. It is shown to be a natural type antihistamine, uh, been very beneficial for people with allergies and also help starting to help our animals. Because of that, it can also be beneficial. One is an anti-inflammatory going into the ear and you know, dealing with all that primary inflammation, which is, which is often caused by an underlying allergy. So I've brewed up one half a cup of strong nettle tea. Here it is, nettle leaf. And if you want, you can just go pick yourself some stinging nettle, dry it and brew it into a strong tea. So one half a cup equates to Doing the quick math, that is eight tablespoons. So you can see it's this nice dark color here. It actually tastes kind of nice. Four, we got four, five, six. Okay, there we have it. Eight tablespoons, one, 120 mils of nettle leaf. Aha. Uh -huh. Next, we're going to use something which is antifungal, antibacterial in many of my remedies, in particular for our dogs that have ear infections. What is it? You may be wondering. Ta-da! Apple cider vinegar. Here's the Bragg's raw unfiltered, which I quite like. And we are going to be using 30 mils or two tablespoons of our apple cider vinegar. It can be fairly irritating. So if your dog has red open wounds, I don't want to be using this, especially the apple cider vinegar. The nettle would be fine. Two tablespoons apple cider vinegar in our concoction. Then lastly, we're going to have an essential oil, which is also antifungal, antibacterial. In particular, I'm really gunning in on those, uh, the yeast. And because of that, I'm opting with the tea tree oil here as the essential oil and this happens to be tea tree from our local co-op and I am going to be putting in 10 drops Tula 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 10 10 drops here's our concoction which includes the half a cup of nettle the two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar along with the 10 drops of tea tree. And as far as treatment, I've got a 3cc syringe and I'm going to put in five drops into Tula's ear and I would be using that as a treatment sort of twice a day. So the big thing in terms of putting it into your dog's ear properly is tilt the pinna or the ear flap backwards. You can open up 
here the external ear canal really well and you're dropping it straight down it's called that vertical ear canal right there so i've got her head tilted to the side tilted back i'm going to put in five drops one two three four five there right down into that vertical ear canal then i'm going to grab the base of her ear i'm going to rub it together and you're going to actually hear a squishing noise and as it's doing that you guys can hear that it's working its way down the vertical into the horizontal ear canal. And that's what you need to be doing twice a day. We'll be doing that twice a day, somewhere between five to 10 days. There, Tula. Okay. You were awesome for that. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets on my new remedy for dog ear infections. If you've yet to do so, click there to subscribe. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.